Mirage. What are you? The name's Mirage. Come on. Give me a little, give me a little, give me a little, give me a little tap. Transformers have a cool kid on the block, and it's none other than the Autobot who transforms into an uber-cool, sleek silver Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8. Yes, we are talking about Mirage, who appears in the new Transformers Rise of the Beast, and Pete Davidson has killed it in voicing this swanky dude. Although this isn't Mirage's first appearance in live-action films, his character has been given significant weightage in the new Transformers movie. So, let's delve into Mirage's powers and his super ability to keep himself alive by transferring his body parts to someone else. Also, be warned, this video contains spoilers from Rise of the Beast. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Exploring the physical structure of Mirage Now, Mirage's previous portrayals in Transformers Dark of the Moon and Transformers Age of Extinction were quite different from the new movie. His character was dubbed Dino and had an Italian accent. Also, he transformed into a red Ferrari 458. As an Autobot, Mirage was furnished with long blades on either arm, which he used to slice through the Decepticons on more than one occasion. But Mirage was always on the sidelines in these movies, with Optimus Prime and Bumblebee playing more central roles. However, things have changed for Mirage with Rise of the Beasts, where he gets more limelight and becomes the human lead Noah's bestie. Mirage moves from being a silver Porsche with a blue stripe to a silver Autobot, shining brighter than all his counterparts. It's obvious that he likes and wants to play the cool guy in the gang, and is almost like a rebellious teenager fathered by Optimus Prime. But Mirage is not one to sit out of a fight or shed responsibilities. He is always ready to prove that he can do more than the other Autobots expect from him. So, when it came to getting the transwarp key from the lab, Mirage instantly volunteered to guide Noah and fetch it. And we know that did not end well. Mirage is almost as big as Bumblebee when he transforms, though he is leaner and, like other Transformers, can alter his arms into blaster guns. He has streaks of blue merging perfectly with his silver body. In the comics, Mirage would also be shown with a missile over his left shoulder, which was skipped in the latest movie. Nonetheless, he possesses other powers, which fewer Transformers have showcased in the past. So, let's take a look at them, starting with his name. How does Mirage get his name? We first meet Mirage when Noah is trying to steal the Porsche to make a quick buck. And while the audience is quick to guess that the Porsche is a Transformer in hiding, after catching a glimpse of their logo, Noah is in for a surprise. While Noah is in the car, Optimus Prime's voice booms on the radio. Mirage, roll out! And well, no one could ignore his call. So, Mirage, still as a Porsche, throttles away. But not before security gets alerted of a breach. This leads to one of the most exciting car chases in the film with Noah left utterly clueless about how the car is driving itself. Remember, the film is set in the 90s, so self-driven cars were still a concept being worked upon. With the police chasing the car, Mirage is pulling out all the stops with his particular stunts and using his abilities as an Autobot to their full capacity without transforming into one. During the chase, Mirage drives the car in reverse, facing the cop in pursuit. We then see him shift more than just the gears. He unhinges the boot, moves the steering wheel 180 degrees, and continues to alter all all parts of him until the car changes direction to face forward without actually maneuvering it. But that's something we have seen other Autobots do in the past. What Mirage does next is project holograms of himself, much like Loki in the Marvel Universe, hence the name Mirage. Mirage can cast illusions of himself to confuse his enemies and take the upper hand in battle. We see him project four more Porsches which lead the cops into a crash and give Mirage and Noah a chance to escape. This was also the point in the movie where Noah realized why the mysterious voice on the radio kept calling out the name Mirage. Additionally, we see Mirage use this power when he bravely decides to take on Scourge all by himself. He projects two other Mirages, who almost run into Scourge before the real Mirage sends a flying punch to Scourge's face. But Mirage's delusions aren't the only remarkable thing about this bot. Did you know that Porsche had to especially make this car for the film? Porsche created a special machine for Mirage in the new movie. When Porsche launched the 911 Carrera RS 3.8 back in 1993, they had only manufactured 55 cars as a limited edition, which were auctioned at over $1.5 million. So, when the Transformers franchise decided they wanted Mirage to be a 911 Carrera RS 3.8, Porsche's North American manufacturing unit went to work to recreate this beauty. They had to source parts from existing owners and produce five Porsches to feature in the movie. The film was shot across three countries 
countries, with Porsche technicians always present on set to ensure the cars ran smoothly and all glitches could be fixed instantly. Lorenzo Di Bonaventura, the film's producer, mentioned that they worked almost like a competitive sport where each car was given a pit stop to ensure its health was intact. Moreover, all five Porsches were given different roles. For instance, one was only to drive through, one to perform the stunts, and so on. So, Mirage is an expensive special edition car, which is why Noah chooses to steal it to begin with. Also, we guess when Mirage created an illusion of four more cars during the chase scene, it's quite possible that all five Porsches were actually in the scene. What do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments. Can Mirage transform into any car in the movie? We have previously seen Bumblebee change from a 1970 Chevrolet Camaro to a sleeker and newer version of the car in the first Transformer film, but Bumblebee could only do it after scanning another 2006 to 2008 model. Mirage, however, doesn't need a scanner to change into any car of his choice. When Mirage tries to convince Noah to steal the transwarp key from the lab, he tries to bribe Noah. This is the first time in the film that we see Mirage use his ability to change into a Ferrari and also an IndyCar to convince Noah that he can sell him off as one of these expensive cars and get the money he needs. A fun fact is that Mirage was shown as transforming into a small indie car in the comics. Seems like the makers paid homage to the comic character in the movie. In a humorous take, Mirage transforms into a garbage van to slip into the lab with Noah in the driving seat. Noah asks Mirage to turn into a helicopter or a speedboat, to which Mirage replies, I got something way better than that. And next, we see him as a garbage truck pulling into the lab, trying to steal the key. Mirage's ability to transform into any car means that he can always hide from his enemies in plain sight. This superpower might go unnoticed in the movie as there were very few instances in the film where Mirage could have used it, yet it remains one of his remarkable abilities. How did Mirage give Noah an exosuit to transform into a mini Iron Man? Now hold on to your seats because this is something unlike anything we have seen in the Transformers movies before. Mirage could transfer his body to give Noah an exosuit. Yes, you heard it right. So, here is what happens. Mirage takes on Scourge alone while Noah and Elena try to shut down the transwarp key. Scourge gets hold of Noah and Mirage tries to protect him by becoming a shield between Noah and Scourge's attacks. The mighty leader of the Terracons shoots Mirage down and we see the bright blue lights in his eyes turn off. Noah believes Mirage is dead, but it's not that easy to kill Mr. Cool. Mirage's eyes light up again, but he isn't ready to fight just yet. He tells Noah that he'll have to take the wheels. Before Noah can get up and understand what he meant, Mirage starts transferring his own body parts piece by piece to give Noah an almost Iron Man-like look with a silver and blue exosuit. Now, this wasn't the first time that Mirage had given Noah a part of himself. When Noah and Elena were trying to look for the other piece of the transwarp key, Mirage gives Noah a hand gear, which attaches itself to Noah's palm and wrist. The device worked as an intercom and also a weapon, but the suit was a more elaborate transfer of goods. The suit allows Noah to control Mirage's weaponry, like the blasters he shoots from his hand. It is also equipped with a jet pack to help Noah maneuver quickly between Scourge's attacks. Along with Optimus Prime, Noah launches a full-scale attack on Scourge, firing at him as he slides across the bridge. Noah reaches Scourge's leg and fabricates a blade from his hand to shove it deep into Scourge's joint, bringing him down to his knees. Noah is then seen fighting the Terracons alongside Bumblebee, where he furnishes blades on both his arms and slices through the enemies while doing a smooth knee slide across the metal bridge. It's safe to assume that, even with Mirage missing an action, Noah made sure his swag was maintained. The exosuit also gave Noah super strength to fight and also try to keep Optimus Prime from being sucked into the transwarp. Mirage giving his parts to Noah and continuing to fight was clearly one of the major highlights in this film and one that we would want to see Mirage do again. What do you guys think? Exploring the personality of Mirage through the movie. Mirage has the perfect vibes for a rap star with his sense of humor, fist bumps, and of course, hip catchphrases. He becomes an instant hit in the film from the moment he is introduced. Moreover, the character is voiced by one of SNL's biggest stars, Pete Davidson, who is known for his comedic timing. Pete has clearly given Mirage the personality of a chilled out dude who is mostly mischievous and isn't easily ruffled. His cleverly crafted lines like, big is just a movie, you'll never be real boy, or work friends, you've been inside me, and so many others, left the audience giggling and falling in love with Mirage's character. Mirage is a natural with humans and making friends in general. He uses his street smartness to convince Noah to steal from the lab by giving Noah exactly what he wanted, a chance to make money. His smart mouth often makes it feel like Mirage is immature, and his rebellious nature comes out when he argues with Optimus about befriending a human. Nonetheless, we see Mirage's brave side time and again in the movie as he fights the Terracons without fearing for his life, 
He even sacrifices himself to save Noah, which can hardly be regarded as an act of immaturity. Mirage certainly has his flaws, but he still remains a loyal soldier of the Autobots. Can Mirage reproduce? Cybertron was originally created to ensure life's existence, and it also became the reason why the Transformers were built. While these beings cannot reproduce in the traditional sense, Cybertronians can build new Transformers, either from scratch through mechanical construction like in the case of Dinobots, or use parts of old vehicles to create one like the Combaticons. They can also make use of Cybertron's supercomputer Vector Sigma to build a Transformer. The Transformers have also been known to use the AllSpark to breathe life into a new Transformer, or to use the Pro form to scan and create similar Transformers. In some comic series, the Transformers were also said to have reproduced sexually, although there isn't much clarity on it. However, we know they lived in families. In Transformers Age of Extinction, the KSI crew created new Transformer drones using melted body parts of dead Autobots and Decepticons, but it was clearly not a foolproof plan, as we saw in the film. So yes, Mirage does have a chance to reproduce, but which way he will choose is something we will leave for you guys to discuss in the comments below. Is Mirage still alive in Transformer Rise of the Beasts? Now, we know that Mirage handed his wheels to Noah to take on the Exosuit, but does that mean Mirage is still alive? When Scourge attacked Mirage, he shot him multiple times, breaking Mirage into pieces. We see Mirage's wheels flying off, along with some other body parts. He even shuts his eyes and almost collapses on Noah. It's only after hearing Noah's brother Chris on the walkie-talkie that Mirage wakes up, saying, you guys are so cute. Almost as if Chris's encouraging words put new life in not only Noah, but also Mirage, and asked him to continue fighting. But after his brutal disfiguration, Mirage clearly only had some parts left to give Noah and make his exosuit. And while we are hoping to see Mirage once the fight was over, and Noah is out of the suit. It didn't happen. In the end, we see Noah in a plane, looking at the lifeless exosuit, with no sign of Mirage around. So, does that mean that Mirage is dead? Or like Bumblebee, will he too need the Energon to bring him back to his original form? We think not. The end credit scene shows that our beloved Transformer is far from dead, and we hope to see him again soon in the next movie. How could a human repair a damaged Mirage? So, somewhere in the exosuit, Mirage is still alive, but the movie doesn't delve into the details of it all. But what we know is that the sleek Porsche is evidently a few parts down to become whole again. And that's what was shown in the end credits. We see Noah putting his skills as a mechanic to piece the Porsche together with the help of his friend Reek. Reek believes that Noah is wasting his time and talent on a piece of junk that will not fetch him any money when he tries to sell it. Reek even calls it a jigsaw puzzle made of garbage and challenges Noah to simply start the car. That is when Noah calls out Mirage's name and we see the car instantly transform into its Autobot form, announcing that he is back. What we understand is that Noah obviously knew that Mirage was still alive beneath the exosuit, but needed a few days in the garage and significant repair work. Noah took time off his schedule to fix his friend, and with the spare parts that Reek managed to gather, the two put Mirage back together in a Porsche only with junked pieces. But as we know, Mirage can transform into any car, and it will only be a matter of time before he regains his lustrous silver color. Before we go, we want to leave you with another superpower that Mirage has. He can turn invisible. However, Transformers Rise of the Beast did not delve into this power, though we hope that the future movies will let Mirage use it to cheat his way out of a tough spot. Also, it seemed like Mirage replaced Bumblebee in the film, forming a bond with the human lead while Bee was dead. Hmm, that's something to ponder upon. Let us know in the comments if you think Mirage will become a primary character surpassing Bumblebee, or if Bee will always take the more prominent role in the movie franchise. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!